Hi, I'm John Harvey. I'm a professor of economics at Texas Christian University. And this video is part of the Up to Us TCU campaign that is designed to educate the student body about the national debt and how it affects them directly. And since this is the first in the series, I'm just going to give some very basic background information. Uh, to start with, it might be easiest to think of the United States government as a club. And we have a president, just like the president of a club. And we also have a treasurer. And the treasurer of the United States, the treasury department, just like the treasurer of a club, is in charge of collecting the dues, which we call taxes. Uh, and they are also in charge of writing the checks. But they don't actually decide what the checks are going to be for, uh, nor do they decide how much they're going to be. That's going to be up to the president and Congress, which is kind of you know, like thinking about the president of the club and then the membership of the club. So they all decide together what we're going to spend the money on, and then it's up to the treasury to determine you know, how we go about you know, writing the checks and collecting the dues and so forth. Now, each year that the President and Congress decide to spend more than we collected in taxes, there's going to be a budget deficit. And then the national debt is the accumulation of all previous deficits minus any surpluses. So if we had years where we collected more dues than we spent, then we pay down that total debt. But those years where we spent more than we collected, we add to our total debt. Just like you do on a credit card, that if you spend more on your credit card this month than you send in in payments, then you can have a larger sort of total debt on your credit card. On the other hand, if you don't use your credit card at all, but you send in, you know, $500 as a payment, you're going to reduce the total debt. So the national debt then is the total amount by which the United States government has spent more than it's taxed in the entire history of the United States government, uh, minus any surpluses. Now, up until 1917, it was always up to the president and Congress to decide how much we were going to borrow, how much more than our taxes we were going to spend. But 1917, of course, is the entry of the United States into World War I. And so as a consequence, they didn't want to have the president and Congress to have to meet every single time they were going to decide uh, how much more they were going to spend and they took in, in taxes, which they assumed was going to be quite a bit given that they were financing a war. So they passed this law with a debt ceiling. They said, okay, well, we'll set a certain amount, a certain percentage of the budget over which the Treasury can spend by borrowing again, uh, and they don't have to check with us. So that's where that came from, uh, all from World War, uh, all from World War One. At the moment, the national debt stands around 18 trillion dollars, uh, actually just over that. And how much we add to it each year or subtract from it actually varies quite a bit. Just within the past 20 years, there's been a big variation. For example, leading up to the financial crisis from 2002 to 2007, we added about a quarter of a trillion dollars to the national debt every year. In other words, we had about a trillion, a quarter of a trillion dollar deficit each one of those years, which added about, therefore, a quarter of a trillion dollars to the total national debt. However, since the financial crisis, that number's jumped to a trillion. So it's just, it's actually not quite four times as large, but, but in that neighborhood, we've added about a trillion dollars a year to the national debt since the financial crisis. Then actually, way back at the end of the 90s and beginning of the 2000s, from 98 to 2001, we were actually subtracting from the national debt uh, by not a whole lot, but $139 billion per year. Uh, remembering again that right now it stands at $18 trillion. So that's the kind of basic uh, way that it works. And of course, most people think of the national debt as an absolutely terrible thing. Uh, in fact, it is a totally false analogy to think of the government's budget as being similar to yours. And that'll be explained in, in, you know, in the next three parts of the video. Thank you very much.